You will be invited to collaborate on a Google Jamboard. When you get the invite link, it will open a web browser for you and you should see a screen similar to mine. On the left side, you have all your different tool options, but the tool that we recommend using is the sticky note, which is the little paper icon. And when you pull that up, you can choose which color you want your sticky note to be. And you can go ahead and write your ideas. So maybe collaboration is important. So I'm going to create a sticky note that says collaboration. I'm going to pick a different color um, sticky note. And then I can just keep typing. So I have the feature open. I'm typing in my ideas in the sticky note. And when I'm done, I can click cancel. So I now have three sticky notes that I can move around, click, take this arrow key, the select tool, and drag them around the white canvas area. I can make them larger by increasing the endpoints, coming down to the corner and clicking on the circle dot and dragging it um, out. So click that. I can rotate it slightly by coming up to the top left corner and grabbing the rotation and moving it around. Again, I have my select arrow tool selected that allows me to pick up the sticky note and move it around. If I decided I did not want a sticky note, I have these three dots right here that allow me to do, delete it, edit it, or duplicate it. So if I wanted to create one more sticky note and say, type in my ideas, I can add as many sticky notes as I want throughout the page. You and the rest of your group members will be collaborating on a Google Jamboard with it. So you'll see other sticky notes as well. If you realize that you ran out of space on your first frame or slide, you can always come up here and click on the right arrow to create a new frame. And so you and your group members can continue to add um, more sticky notes on different frames. If I click on this, it will allow me to expand so I can see both of my frames and I can go back and forth to add. So if I'm brainstorming on different topics, I could create a frame for each topic and then add sticky notes pertaining to that topic. I hope this helps you get a better idea on how to create a sticky note in Google Jamboard.